it's really quite clear from the standpoint of cancer and the standpoint of cardiovascular disease that animal protein plays an enormous role. Is chicken better? It's a question of whether you want to be shot or hung. The flesh food that I would eliminate from the American diet would be poultry, would be turkey and chicken. A brilliant advertising campaign has convinced people that, oh, it's white meat, it's healthier. The number one reason for antibiotic resistance, the number one reason little girls have menstruation at seven and eight years old, the number one reason women have menopause now 10 years sooner than their moms, is because people are consuming more and more hormones that come from animals. And the animal of choice today for you yuppie, hippie, natural eaters happen to be chicken. The truth is, even though chicken flesh and turkey flesh has this reputation with late healthy meat, the truth is, it's the most unhealthy of all the flesh foods. We have about a 21% higher cardiovascular mortality rate in, the, cardio in the, the black community of this country. And it really does have to do with the diet, the southern diet. And what, we really, what they really mean by that, the soul food. More cholesterol, more saturated fat, not just chicken, but fried chicken. That's a combination that is set up for heart disease, kidney disease, uh, stroke, and death. When they exhumed the tissue from breast cancer, they found salmonella in almost every single specimentation that most likely came from you eating organic chicken. We sent researchers into fast food and family restaurants. Not only were there carcinogens in every single restaurant, but we found them in every single chicken sample that we took. If somebody brings their family in and they're buying a bucket of chicken, nobody tells them that there are carcinogens. If you're selling carcinogens to people, you've got to warn them that they're in there. But the American Cancer Society encourages people to switch from red and processed meat to chicken. Why would the American Cancer Society tell people to switch from eating one carcinogenic food to another when a Harvard University study showed that men with prostate cancer who eat large amounts of chicken increase their risk of the disease progressing four times? The number one dietary source in America of cholesterol is chicken because of the volume of chicken. You know, chicken's become grilled chicken and organic chicken. It's, it's machismo, but it has nearly as much cholesterol per gram as red beef. So just on sheer volume, it's the number one source, yeah, eggs being close behind. Anytime you step out and try to push the, the frontier of truth, there's going to be pushback. And the sad fact is that, what, you know, Western physicians are Western people, and they are as addicted to these crappy diets as everybody else. And they don't want to believe that these things are unhealthy, but the science is so sound and so incontrovertible that you really can't dismiss it. Well, chicken and turkey and poultry dishes uh, have that reputation, oh, it's, it's, it's healthier, the, it's white meat too, light meat, and uh, it's got this reputation which, in truth, is completely undeserved. Uh, let's call things for what they are. The leading source of sodium in the American diet for adult is chicken. It can be labeled all natural chicken, but be injected with this salt water, I think up to 800 milligrams of sodium. Heterocyclic amines are clear-cut carcinogens, and they can form in any kind of meat as it's heated, as it's cooked. But by far the biggest source is chicken. If you look at the incidence of hypertension and diabetes uh, and mortality in men, they, they actually get reduced as you uh, go higher and higher in, in terms of how much you restrict animal products. There are numerous studies linking eating chicken to many different cancers, including prostate, colon, and bladder cancers in particular. This study conducted at Harvard School of Public Health found that people who ate more than five servings of chicken without skin each week had a 52% increase in bladder cancer risk compared with those who ate none. There's nothing healthy about eating birds, uh, especially the way they're raised today, and that's another idea that should exit the stage left. We've used up the chicken and turkey, uh, and we've used up flesh eating in general. It no longer serves us. It's time for a major evolution on this whole planet to plant-based uh, diets while we still have the time to do that, and chicken and turkeys need to I'll go back to the forest of Asia where they came from, and uh, at least the chickens, the turkeys, or American birds, let them go, let them do what they used to do out in the wild there, but time to stop eating those birds.
The problem with animal-based diet, its contribution to heart disease is huge and it is pervasive. All this expensive imaging, procedures, bypasses, medication, none of which has one solitary single thing to do with the causation of the illness. So you die of a completely benign foodborne illness that never had its causation treated. When we eat these kind of dead meat bacteria toxins, within minutes, you get this burst of inflammation within your system such that you basically paralyze your arteries. You get this stiffening of the arteries, their inability to relax normally in half. So it's not like decades down the road eating unhealthy, there'll be some damage. No, we're talking damage right then and there within minutes of it going into our mouth. Many people are given the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease when it's not true Alzheimer's at all. The vast majority of people suffer dementia due to their tiny blood vessels in their brain clogging up and their nerve cells being short-changed of oxygenated blood. And guess where that blood vessel dementia comes from? Those little tiny arteries are clogging up from that steady stream of fat, cholesterol, etc. We do not have the dental structure. We don't have the jaw mechanics. We don't have the intestinal uh, 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 structure of an omnivore or carnivore. We are classic herbivores by design. And that's why, for instance, 90% of the people who die from choking every year die eating meat. They're choking on meat. And that's because our teeth, jaw structure, and uh, throat mechanism is not designed to handle this stuff. If, in fact, human beings are omnivores, meaning that we're supposed to eat both meat and plant foods, why is it that eliminating the animal food from our diet makes us healthier, makes us live longer, reduces our risk for developing disease? Well, it's because we really are not omnivores. We are true herbivores. We should not be eating animal food at all.